I'm here with Neil Meisel, Chief Executive for Mission Systems at Babcock. Neil, thank you for joining us here. Uh, tell us a bit, first of all, about what it is Babcock is doing here at Farnborough this week and why its mission is so important to UK right now. Yeah, well, thank you. Look, it's great to be here. Babcock are the second largest provider to the UK MOD. We provide a, a vast range of services across all of the frontline commands. Uh, we deliver full support to the UK submarine fleet. We maintain and build UK warships and we provide support to most of the UK Army's uh, land fleet. My business mission systems, we work across all of the commands delivering all sorts of technology from mission intelligence through to mission communications. And it's really mission communications that brings us to this show today. Uh, we've, we've recently taken over the operation of the Skynet service on behalf of the UK MOD. We provide an end-to-end -end satellite communication service for all of the services. And it sits very well alongside our other strategic communication contracts that we deliver for the MOD. Well, let's talk more about that, obviously here uh, at an international space event. Uh, what is it that you've achieved so far in the first 12 months, along with your Aurora partners with Skynet? Yeah, well, it was, uh, we had a year to mobilize the contract. And you're right, we're working with Intelsat and SES to deliver this service. And they bring the best from the rest of the world, from Europe and from the US. We spent that year mobilizing and taking over from the previous provider. And then we've just, as you said, celebrated with the customer 12 months of delivery. We provide an end-to-end -to -end service. We fly the six existing satellites. We're getting ready for the launch of the new satellite, which we'll bring into the service. And it's our job to ensure that any user anywhere has an end-to-end -end service that they can rely on. And in terms of reliance on a mission-critical system, with the context are they of a changing world right now, systems like this are of even more importance than maybe we could even have imagined a couple of years ago. Absolutely, and you'll hear a lot of, of talk about a connected battle space. You'll hear about autonomous, autonomous platforms, UAVs. All of these platforms need to, need to communicate. They need to communicate with soldiers on the ground. They need to communicate with craft at sea. And we're providing that network of communication between all of those different platforms and for the uh, military people to make the right decisions at the right time with the right information. It's all about people at the end of the day, though. We can talk a lot about technology, of course, and we heard on the keynote stage here at Farmer International Space Show, space is still about people. And people are really important to Babcock as well. Just talk to me about opportunities and skills, because without the skills, you won't be able to deliver what it is that you do. So you're absolutely right. We employ over 25,000 people. But the biggest risk, I think, to our future growth is not being able to, to find sufficient people. So we're absolutely working on skills. We've got over 1,800 people in our early careers programs, apprentices, graduates, and the like. Um, I ran a, a festival of engineering event at Bristol two weeks ago. We had 400 school children come in age 11 and 12. We're really trying to get them to make those STEM choices early in their, in their uh, school life so that they can go on to do STEM degrees and then be the sorts of people that we can employ because of, that, of the technical knowledge that they have. And that's vital that we uh, continue to do that. We're doing that this week here. There's a career zone. We're really proud to be involved in that. And we just want to inspire that future generation because we need those people coming through, as you say, in order to be able to continue to do the vital work that we do. We'll leave it there for now. Neil Meisel, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much.